Praise God, giving us another time and another opportunity to come together for Bible study to receive all that He has for us today. And just saying, I welcome everybody here, uh, the Repair and the Breach Ministries, those here and those joining together with us online. I welcome everybody here together with us and keep in mind as we all come together, come together united in one, letting. <coughs> Being in continuous prayer, one for another, that uh, no distraction. Being that, don't be a distraction. Don't be a disturbance to anyone else. Don't uh, uh don't uh, be no division or, or discord uh, upon anyone. Keeping continuous prayer that the that as we go through this Bible study, that it'll be able to the recording and the broadcast will go out with no interruptions at all. And uh, just to keep just keep in mind as we do come together, as we do. Uh, uh, sit together and learn that with that come in with a receiving heart, being ready to receive, being ready to hear from what our our Father has for us, has to give to us, and has uh, put together today. And as we open up in prayer, just everybody, just uh, <clears throat> being continuous prayer, <coughs> and being and being just be just being continuous prayer one for another. So let's all bow our heads, <coughs> no, so we can open up in prayer, dear Father. <clears throat> we thank you and we praise you today, dear Lord, for allowing us once again to come together, allowing us uh, to get through another day, dear Father, and I pray to you in the name of Jesus, dear Father, just to continue on with us, guiding, keeping, and standing on with us, dear Father, as we as we uh, uh, sit at your Bible study here, dear Father, those here, join, here and those joining together with us on this broadcast, on the broadcast, dear Father, and I pray in the name of Jesus, dear Father, just to be with us, guide and keep and stand on with us. First off, dear Father, I pray, dear Lord, just to forgive us of all our sins we've committed against you, everything we've done, falling short, dear Father, I pray <laughs> forgive each and every one of us, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I pray as well, dear Father, just to guide and keep and stand on with us, dear Lord, as we all come together in the name of Jesus, dear Father. I pray that we all do it united in one, focused on you, dear Father, and nothing else, dear Lord. I pray to be peace and joy upon each and every one of us and those that are those that are here and those that are going to be joining together with us, dear Father, giving protection uh, along their travels, dear Father, that they will be able to join together with us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. And I pray, dear Father, we, as we as we receive uh, as we sit at at this Bible study, dear Father, as all of us join together, dear Lord, uh, your, that Your presence be upon each and every one of us, dear Father. We know that the, Your hands are not uh, Your hands are not short. That no matter how many miles are set in between, in between us, dear Father, that You can that You are there in the midst, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus. As we all come together in the name of Jesus, as we all come together united in one. And I pray, dear Father, just to guide and keep and stand on with us, dear Father. Continue on blessing us let your word come out with boldness and authority let it be heard and received in the hearts of all the hungry that <clears throat> are willing to receive it dear father in the name of jesus dear lord now i pray dear father let it be done with clarity dear father in the name of jesus i pray that your anointing be rained down upon each and every one of us dear father and that everyone that joins together and with us dear father here as well as those online dear lord i pray that they all will know that you are in the, uh, that you are in control of, uh, of this Bible study, dear Father. There's no no one but you, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, dear Father. And I pray, dear Lord, just to guide and keep and stand on with us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. And dear Father, I pray, as as all of all of us, all of your hunger, re all of your hunger, receive your word, dear Lord. I pray in the name, the name of Jesus, remind us <coughs> that you get all the glory and praise, that you get all the honor, dear Father, all the accolades go straight to you, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. And I pray, dear Father, just to guide and keep and stand on with us, dear Father, and that your joy and peace will be upon each and every one of us. And we, and once again, that we all have that understanding heart, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And Satan, I come against you in the name of Jesus. I command you in the name of Jesus to take your hands off the broadcast, off the recording. You shall not be a disturbance or an eruption upon any upon this Bible study, anyone that's joining together with us online, anyone sitting uh, sitting here in this building, I, I command you in the name of Jesus to leave us. You shall not have anything to do with this Bible study, and you shall not interrupt the, the broadcast and the recording that goes out that our father has allowed us to uh, allowed us to do that our father that our father has brought all of us together and you shall not have anything to do with this teaching with this bible study in the name of jesus i command you to leave even right now <clears throat> 
And dear Father, we thank you and we praise you, dear Lord, for being with us, dear Father. We know that your Holy Spirit is with us at all times, a guide and keeping and standing on with us. And I pray in the name of Jesus, dear Father, just to, that your Holy Spirit will, will give us an understanding heart, will give us a Give us the wisdom and the knowledge and understanding. Let it be heard and let it be received by all, dear Father, no matter how deep their relationship is with you, dear Father, as they... As all as we all come in with a, a, a willing, a, a hearing ear and a receiving heart, that will be able to be, to be to be such, dear Father. We'll be able to receive your word this day, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, dear Father. And this day, let it be known, I, I crucify my flesh. I let I empty my cup before you, dear Father. I reject everything of the flesh, and I pray in the name of Jesus to speak through me, your servant, dear Father. Let everything be heard, everything everything that is heard be uh, uh, spoke, be uh, directed by you, dear Father. Nothing of the flesh to interfere, nothing of the flesh to hinder the work your working that you would have to be done this day, dear Father. And I pray just to speak through myself, your servant, dear Father. In Jesus' name we thank you and we praise you, dear Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yay, Jesus. All right, here we go. Back with sanctification. And, uh, so I get it right, uh, consecration. Back, <laughs> constification. Uh, back, back to the, back learning about that. Last week we learned the dev definition of, of it being uh, consecration and sanctification being one and the same, being separated for, uh, for God, for, uh, for the work for for God's service, being separated out of, uh, well, being separated solely for God's work, solely for God's service, and and how we learn how that that it takes more than just uh, an emotional uh, how's it, Father? It takes more than than just a, an emotional commitment for it to be so. It has to be a change of the heart, just like uh, and we didn't read this uh, last week, but here turn over to Second uh, Corinthians. Uh, was that Second Corinthians chapter four? And uh, I forgot uh, some of the some of the uh, passages I'm gonna be reading out of NIV, and some of them I'm gonna be reading out the out the King James. And uh, let's see, turn uh, what did I say? Chapter four, verse six. That's what I said. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse six. And I'll read this uh, out the NIV. It says, "For God who <coughs> who said." Let light shine out of darkness, made made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. Now, the, this thing that the key word here is it made the light shine in, in, in our hearts uh, to give us the light of knowledge. That this is what this is talking about is it takes more like we learned last week. It takes more than just a, a, a veneer. It takes more than just uh, an emotional uh, asking, uh, just like with salvation, asking Christ to come into your hearts and save you. Uh, like in in some instances, where, where it will be an emo uh, an emotional tugging on on, on heartstrings and an emotional uh, trying to get you crying or trying to get you. Uh, just like the, just like uh, said, uh, in emotional, emotion wise, it has to be uh, with to 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 s the the sanctification, just like just like with with uh, salvation, and and we'll we're gonna we'll get to that as well later on. But it, the same thing, it has to be it has to be uh, fully with with your whole heart. Uh, it, it it can't be anything short of that and just like last week when we learned how christ how christ said that that you can't love uh you can't uh how is that uh have to you no man can serve two masters you can't love uh the you can't uh love god and mammon or you can't let you can't uh be in the world and you can't serve god at the same time it has to be one or the other and because that, that there there's a uh there will be conflicts continuously that go that that go on if you try to serve two masters because it, how it says uh, where is it at in Matthew that you'll love one Matthew chapter four chapter six I'm gonna flip through it real quick ah I lost my bookmark chapter six verse twenty four 
uh, <laughs> no man can, and this is out the King James, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve <clears throat> God and mammon. Let's see what does it say here. You can't see, can't serve God and mammon, but and, and and that's what it is. You, you can't. There, there's no juggling of the two. How how uh, in in the world and like I use an example. Whenever I was doing when I was a, a auto body work, I could work on three cars at at, at the same time. I would uh, on one. I would knock out. I would straighten the frame on one that was in in, in the wreck. And then I, and while that and while the hot and while the hydraulic machine was running, straightening it out, I would go to another car, bang out some dents in one, and I could and go and go to the other one, taking uh say taking the door apart to replace the the motor and the window and i could run to three to to serve to work on three different cars at the same time and, and still and 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 all the while making sure everything i'm doing is right on all three of them and that's and, and but with serving god look, trying to walk walk with god and trying to walk in the world it, it can't be done you can't uh, please God, and you, you can't please God and walk in the world because uh, the the world rejects everything that that uh, that God has that 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 God will be pleased with. That that and we won't get into how and in, in when we learned, read studied Genesis about how the 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 world before God uh, moved upon moved upon the face of the deep the darkness that that was in the world and, and <clears throat> all of that but but the thing is that that satan does not do any that satan will not do anything that will please god satan will not do anything that will uh li lift god up and no and nobody that is in the world uh is going to willingly turn toward god and nobody that's in the, that's uh trying to serve that that wants to walk with God can walk in the world and I won't get too long wind, long winded with that but this is the thing with that sanctification and the, the sanctification meaning uh separation me, meaning set aside for for the service of for for God's service uh it, it, it cannot be done uh uh halfway it can't be done uh, in, in the in the in a weak way, in the same way how the world will come with boldness towards you, you have to walk th with the same boldness when, when you're uh, ser when you're uh, serving the Lord. But here, but <clears throat> but at, just, just the same, just just like this. Whenever uh, you accept Christ, just uh, in, in in Corinthians, I think was it First Corinthians where it says all things are become new. The old things pass away and all things become new. This is the same, the, the same, this is how, and once again, we'll get into it a little later, of uh, that, that sanctification, that, that separation comes about when God, when God sets you apart upon salvation. And, uh, and, <clears throat> and now we're going to go on that, that how God, now, now with God, and now we're here, thank you, Lord, that with this sanctification, how things are sanctified, how the, the, the church is set apart from the world. That when we when we come into church and when we come have a, a gathering together, how we uh, how we uh, pray and ask God to be in the midst of it. How we pray and 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 leave out of the distractions of this world and to to be sanctified, to be set apart from this world. Uh, in in Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter five, verse one. That you, it, when when you come out from when when we come together, and when we uh, sanctify things, and I can't do we go over last week. I can't remember about uh, sanctifying material things. How in the Old Testament? Okay, well, we'll do that now. After this. Find Ecclesiastes. There, Ecclesiastes chapter five, verse one, where it says, "Keep thy 
<coughs> it says, <coughs> I'll read this out the, King, out the NIV. It says, guard your steps when you go into the house of God. Go near, go near to listen rather than to offer sacrifice, the sacrifice of fools who do not know <coughs> that they do wrong. Every time we, and, and this, this can, this has to be all the time as well. But when, when you leave out, when you go to church or to a Bible study or a gathering together of, of, of God's children, that just to coming together, even the fellowship, which, where you, uh, come out, where you call that place sanctified, where you call that place, uh, set apart from the world, where you call it, where, wherever it may be. Just keep in mind the church is just the 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 building the, the 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 body the body itself is the gathering together of his uh, of of God's of God's hungry and now when you come together whatever you call whatever you call uh, the, the 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 sanctified place that you have to be careful of your steps you can't treat it just like it's a normal place you can't uh, act like you do. Uh, like you would in in in, in a, a a workplace if you just uh, or workplace or school or something like that as you just uh, spewing out what what your opinion about things or or talking about things uh, giving giving a uh, maybe letting letting everybody know how much you already know how smart you really are but when you walk when you step in before God. It, it, it's it, the most important thing is to realize that God himself, his thoughts are a lot higher than your thoughts. His ways are a lot higher than your ways. God, whatever you uh, brought forth or called forth, to, that is, uh, whatever, how is it, Father? Whatever, wherever you go that you call, that, that, that you have set outside of the, uh, of the world that you have come together to uh you know, come together to 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 give God glory and give God praise and to hear his word to be to put God on high to let God to whoever God has put there to speak whoever God has put there to uh uh to teach or or, or, or whatever whatever it may be <clears throat> keep your foot just like what that well, says in King James it says keep your foot <clears throat> when you go into the house of God Mind yourself uh, that that it's a place it, that it's saying it's set apart from the world that you do things you hold that air you hold uh, when you're in God's house when you're standing before standing before him you hold that a lot higher than you would uh, standing before a friend or walking walking into a, 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 a building that that's not set aside that you, you keep your you as it says in the in the NIV it says guard your steps don't uh don't talk at don't uh as it give sacrifice of fools offer sacrifice of fools speaking as uh letting your lips speak before your brain works it ha it has to be you, you have to hold that to a higher to a higher steam and now here going on for going on forth with it that god here the sanctification will go to the old testament that god when the, when the children came out of egypt that God sanctified them. That in ex in, in Exodus, let's see where is that in Exodus? Where is it at, Father? It might be Exodus chapter nine. Let's look at Exodus chapter nine. Might be the one I'm thinking of. I wanna. Let's see, Exodus chapter nine. Uh, no, let's see where is it at five, verse five and. Let's see, is that it? Uh, no, that's not it. That's not what I wanted. Let's see, wait, maybe 19. I might have... Go flip over to chapter 19, verse 5 and 6. Let's see if that's, if that's the one I was... Oh, man, is that it? There, yeah, that's it. Here, and it's out the King James says, Now, therefore, if ye will obey, <clears throat> if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me, 
above all people for all <coughs> for all the for all the earth is mine and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and and a holy nation to these <coughs> these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel this is god the the, the god's sanctifying them they're saying they're, they're going to be a, 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 a peculiar treasure, a, a, a special treasure. How is this said in the NIV? It says there will be, a, let's see, what does it say here? A treasure, tre my treasured possession. Setting them above all things. That, that with, with, ouch, with uh, Israel, with Ab well, not Abraham, Moses, what, what he spoke to Moses to speak to them is that walking with him, he's, he's setting them above all, all, all things. And that the, uh, that's the, that's the covenant that he, <clears throat> excuse me, that he made with Abraham. That's the, uh, of setting, setting him above the, his being his chosen people and sanct and God sanctifying them, God setting that, setting them above uh, all others that how it says the, for all the earth is mine, but he ha but he sets them up, he sets them as a a, a peculiar treasure, as a, a treasured possession, sanctifying them in the same way that God that that uh where is that at now, Father? That God said that that in in First Peter, how it says in First Peter toward all those all of us that had that has. Accepted Christ as a saving the hat that walks with him. In First Peter chapter two, verse nine. This one I'm preaching. This one I'm sure is the right one. It says, "But ye are a chosen generation, a ge uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye show that ye should show forth the praise, <coughs> the praises of him who have called you out of." darkness unto the marvelous marvelous light the same way that the, the saint this the setting aside the setting of, uh, of, of israel that god did with israel that uh that uh, in the same way that, that god does with all uh, with all of us as well setting us uh setting us aside being that peculiar being that peculiar uh pe peculiar people that the the, the precious the the uh special possession in in the NIV it says that that God is sanct God is sanctifying us and now and just like what la last week that we touched on that that uh <clears throat> this sanctification that God has done that he has given to each and a, to each and every one of us that where is it at that God that God has allowed has allowed us as well to uh well in the Old Testament for in, in Leviticus it says ye sanctify yourselves in Le in Leviticus chapter eleven verse forty four those that walked with God those that are uh that 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 uh look toward him depend upon him as God has sanctified them that God allows them to sanctify themselves and just like last week and I know we're jumping around a, a, a good bit but just stay with me and the Lord will put this all together that God is a lot that that the same way with how God uh, taught us last week that the only way for one for one person to bless another for uh, for one person to bless another, that per that person that that person themselves have has to be blessed by God Himself. And uh, in, in Leviticus chapter eleven, verse forty-four, saying, "For I am the Lord your God; ye shall therefore sanctify yourselves, and ye shall be holy, for I am holy. Neither shall ye defile yourselves with any manner <coughs> of creeping thing that creepeth upon the face of the earth." God calling for their, them in the Old Testament to sanctify themselves. And, and, and the, the, the sanctifying ha can only be done when God has done this, has set, has sanctified us. Just like what, what Christ has said, and that, that he, has, he has called us. That we, didn't, that we did not choose him. That we, uh, uh, that, uh, where is it at? In John chapter 15. 
verse 19 that is said that in saying that I have chosen you and we're going to be flipping around a lot today so just keep get ready it says if you oh if you were in the well I'll read this out the NIV it says if you belong to the world it would ha it would love you as its own as it is you do you do not belong to the world but i have chosen you out of the world that's why the world hates you this <clears throat> this walk with god that that it like like the lord had taught us that that it wasn't uh, god has called us out he has given us that uh, his, his grace and mercy put upon us, allowing us to accept Christ as, their, as our personal Savior. And because of that, the, the, the separation, just like in the Old Testament, uh, when God set them aside, set uh, Israel aside and, and called them his special possession, his peculiar people, then they were able, because of that, they were able to uh, sanctify land and, 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 and uh and, and animals and the how and houses and all of that, but that is only because God has sanct has uh, set them set them aside and uh, set them and sanctified them, consecrated them for His uh, for, for His for His service, and and this is the same way along with us because every every church. Uh, Dedicate well here at Repair and Breach Ministries. We dedicate things to God for God's service. We uh, consecrate them for for God's service. Uh, the the co computer that He had gave us, the the cameras He gave us to to broadcast uh, his, his service. The the uh, what else? The the what else was it? Well, everything. What? IPad. Yeah, the instruments, the iPad, the the uh, the, the the building itself. We we uh consecrated that to God. We set that set that aside uh for God's service. Uh and 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 the only way that that can be done is because God has get, has sanctified us. Uh, he has, he has sanctified us. He has set us aside, uh, out of uh, separated us out of this world. The same way, and just like with Israel, he separated them out of the world when they walked out of Egypt. That was them leaving out of the world, becoming his, becoming uh, his people, becoming his, uh, becoming his his special people, his peculiar treasure, his uh, what was that treasure treasure possession. When they walked out of Egypt, that was that 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 physical, uh, the, 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 well, that that was the the sign of it for for them for all of that he had uh, out of out of a strong hand led them out of Egypt because they were his own they were his they that he would uh, his word was given to uh, Abraham about that and now <clears throat> he sanctified them. And they were able to sanctify other things. And now, here, this... No, forgot about those. And now, now this, whenever you're, whenever there's uh, sanctification going on, it's, it's not always, always uh, something being uh, set aside, uh, something of the world being, something set aside apart from the world. Um, it whenever just like what we learn with with genesis uh when we learn the first seven days that god sanctified uh the set the the seventh day in, in chapter two i know that one is by heart in chapter two the first uh first and the third verse in chapter two is in a, here out the king james it says and god blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that it that it, that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Now, everything that you read from Genesis, all all through Genesis, it all says that it, God saw it and it was good. That we that God, there's no evil in him, there's no bad in him. That and everything that he has done, everything he had made is good. And now he set aside. Uh, the seventh day that everything that that 
was already good he set aside special that seven that that uh seventh day and in the same way with with israel that that the the levites the the uh <clears throat> the levites themselves were were sanctified and i believe we went over that last week uh let's see where is that at i can't even find it but the, he had he had set a, he set aside <clears throat> He said, oh, there it is in, in Numbers. Uh, <clears throat> let's flip over to Numbers chapter 3. <clears throat> that he has already said, and this, and this is what we're talking about, is, is God using, setting aside as well, uh, above those that, for he consecrating for his service, um, the, the, the Levites, here, I'll just read it. Uh, chapter 3, verse 12. And this out the King James. says, And behold, <coughs> I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, and of all the firstborn that openeth the matrix among the children of Israel. Therefore, the Levites shall be mine. Now, he, he, he set apart, help us with this, Father. He set apart the Levites uh, from Israel. Now Israel wasn't that Israel wasn't evil. Israel wasn't uh, how was it? They, they weren't bad themselves. God set them aside Himself for for hit for Him His peculiar treasure. But within all of that, within all of, all of them that He set aside, He sanctified the Levites of uh, <clears throat> for His for His uh, for His service. The same way that the church itself, that that, that uh, the ch God's church itself, that He sets aside pa uh, pastors and, and ministers and and teachers above the church, because th there's in the church itself, the church itself, it, it, it's not it's separated from the world, but God sets that uh, sets pastors and teachers and 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 uh, whatever other offices that 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 there may be. He sets that He has them set aside even. Set aside even even how is it father? He sets them aside even from that for his for his service to lead his flock to uh to to guide to make sure that his that that his children don't fall to the to the wayside and that's what the these Levites were were to do they were to uh just just to uh set their hearts upon God and and only Him in the same way with. Uh, pastors today and ministers today that they set them their 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 uh, their hearts on on God and solely on God to make sure that those that he has he had, that has accepted Christ those that walk with uh, walk with him will will be able to do it and not fall away will be able to do it and not and 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 not uh, be be uh, ensnared or, or or trapped by anything or deceived by anything in the world. And now, along with that, <clears throat> well, here we go. We'll go into this. That that here, that those that even and, and there's going on further. Even there's uh, can be sanctification apart from that. Uh, uh, sanctification for, of the 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 un uh, those that that are not saved can can be set aside. Uh, those that don't, don't walk with God can be set aside. And and, jo and Joshua, let's see where's that. And, and and Joshua with with uh. Let's see if I can find that real quick now. Uh, what's what, what's her name, Father? Hmm. Uh, where's that? In chapter. Is that chapter three? Let me see. Oh man, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh wait, is that chapter? Oh wait, maybe chapter. Uh, oh man, where's it at? The, the spies that were sent. That's what I'm. Oh, there it is, chapter 2. Are you talking about Rahab? Yeah, Rahab. I couldn't think of her name. Rahab and her family. Where's it at? Uh, oh yeah, 
Did we go? Over, oh, we didn't go over that last week. I thought we might have went over that last week. Now, the, those that the unsaved. Now, here in chapter two, verse verse twelve, I did write that down. I didn't think I did. Thank you, Lord. In verse twelve to verse fourteen, it says, "Now, therefore, I pray, I pray you, swear unto me by the Lord, since I have show, sh- showed you kindness, that ye will also show kindness unto my father's house and give me a true token." And that the, and that ye will save alive my family, my <clears throat> my mother, my brethren, my sisters, and all that that have, all that they have, and deliver us, and deliver our lives from death. And flip over to chapter six, uh, chapter six, verse seventeen. And this is the confirmation of of, of what uh. Of the promise that they gave her. Oh, we didn't even read all of that. Okay, we'll get back to that. Um, chapter six, verse. Chapter six, verse seventeen. It says, "And the and the city. And the city shall be accused, even it and all that are therein, to the Lord. Only Re, only Rahab the harlot shall live. She and all that all that are." with her in her in the house because she hid the messengers that that we sent now they were set aside from from uh the rest of Jericho the rest of Jericho was that the walls of Jericho were down and they defeated Jericho but Rahab and in her family her mother her her, her dad her mom her dad her brothers uh, her sisters all of that all of all of them <clears throat> were set aside even though even though that they they weren't Israelites even though that they did not uh walk, walk with God that God has set them has had set them aside and as well in uh in 1 Corinthians there's another example of those that of people that aren't saved that were that are uh set set aside and First, what was that First Corinthians, chapter seven? First uh, Corinthians, what that is? Uh, chapter seven, verse fourteen. And this is out the King James, and this and it says here, for the unbelieving husband has been sanctified through his wife, and the unbelieving wife has been sanctified uh, through her husband. Otherwise, your children <clears throat> would be unclean. But now, but as it is, they are holy. Both of these examples are, are examples of those that people that are uh, here in, in First Corinthians that aren't saved, that are sanctified by the those that are those that have accepted Christ as their personal savior, and though and Rahab and and, and uh, Josh. Joshua, when the walls of Jericho came down, that they were that they were sanctified, they were set apart from uh, Jericho itself. They were that that uh, the blessing, and just like the Lord taught us before, the the blessing that falls upon uh, <clears throat> those that are saved will spill out upon those that aren't saved. They, uh, that cloud of protection upon them will, will will cover will cover them as well, and. <clears throat> Oh man, I didn't know it was that late. And those, and, and that's how, and and in that way, that and these are just two, just two examples of though the of people that aren't saved, uh, that 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 ha- that are set that are set aside because there's sanctif- those they can. Those that aren't saved can be uh, set set apart, can be sanctified, and and just as what the same way with uh, the mixed multitude. I can't remember where it is in, in Exodus of those that came out of Egypt, along with the Israelites. They they came out of Egypt and and they were they, there was a mixed multitude. It was, it was not just the Israelites that came out. It was the it was a a whole group that came out with them. And now as well, just to and um, just as well, and things that are. We'll jump over to 
thing there's things that can be sanctified material things that can be sanctified just like we went over a, a little earlier uh, about how church how uh, 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 not today you can you can sanctify or, or consecrate uh, things to Christ, sanctify things and, and give it to God uh, churches and, and homes and uh, things that material things and uh, uh, here in the Old Testament uh <clears throat> <clears throat> the, the, the material things that were sanctified uh, in Exodus chapter 19, verse 27. That, that mountain w was set aside that, that God told Moses that nobody was come to the, was to touch that mountain. Uh, here in chapter 19, we'll flip to it real quick. In Exodus chapter um, 19, verse 27. Man, where is that at now? I wrote down the wrong one then. Well, here, flip over. I won't spend time to... Uh, 13. To 13? Let me see. Oh, yeah, Mount. So I'm not touch it. Uh, jump up to... I don't know why I put that. Jump up to verse... Uh, yeah, we'll do verse 12. It says, and, and, and thou shalt set bounds upon the people round about, saying, and take, heed unto, take heed to yourselves that ye go not up into, mount, up into the mount or touch the border of it. Whosoever touch, touch the mount shall be surely put to death. <coughs> the mount, the, the, uh, <coughs> mount Sinai. Set uh, set aside, and in, in verse and and uh, I don't know if we're gonna get through it. We won't, might not do all of these, uh, but in chapter in in chapter twenty nine, there's other another example. Chapter twenty nine. <coughs> Let's see, verse verse forty. Verse forty three. It says, And there and there and there will and there will meet with the children of Israel <clears throat> and the tabernacle shall and the tabernacle shall be sanctified to my glory. The example of the uh, of the um tabernacle being sanctified. And in verse thir in chapter thirty, verse uh twenty nine, saying saying here that thou shalt sanctify them. And they shall be most holy. Whatsoever touched them shall be holy. And, and it go and it goes on. There's material that all through the Old Testament you'll see material things sanctified to God. There's uh, the 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 gate, the gate that was sanctified. Solomon's temple, uh, <coughs> Solomon, the, the 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 temple, uh, the the holiest of holies were, were were sanctified all all through that. And there also. Also, well, we just, not, we already talked about that things even today can be can be uh, sanctified or consecrated to God, set apart for for uh, the use of God. Is how churches are that they're they're uh, set aside, and how how there's even people set aside days like some people set out Sunday or Saturday as being a, a holy day, a holy uh, to God, or some people may. Uh, call Wednesday and just like we learned last week some people may they may not have a, a day set aside they may sanctify every day for God's for, for uh, God's um, for God for uh, special for God and now jumping on jumping on down uh, the, the, now we talked about the old the, the old man have, having to be uh, or maybe we'll, maybe we'll just save all that until next week Yeah, we'll we'll save that to for next week. We're uh, talking about the old man and babies, and uh, uh, let's see what what else is that, and uh, the, talk a little bit more on the covenant, the covenant of, of it, and and <clears throat> and when when sanctification begins, perfect sanctification, when sanctification comes, uh, yeah, we're gonna save all of that till next week. I didn't realize it was. <laughs> Yeah, what what's up? What's your question? I'm stuck on the 
on that part in Corinthians where it talks about the unbelieving tongues that are being sanctified by the way, etc. So, sanctification means to be set apart. It doesn't necessarily mean salvation. No, the, no, that that's. But with Rahab, well, in the, in the mid, she's acknowledging God. I guess, I guess the question in the end is, what happens when these people go to he- or when these people die? Do they go to heaven? You mean Rahab? Yeah, because she believed, right? Yeah, it's, it all has to do with no. She uh, her hers hers her was uh, she said yeah. She said she knows that God gave them she Jericho, yeah. And 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 old in the Old Testament, it was just like with uh, uh what book book of not Ruth, was it Ruth? Yeah. Naomi, with Naomi, is that the book of Ruth? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was the book of Ruth. That she said, "Where your God will be my God." Yeah. Where all and your people will be my people. She ex it, it, it is that was just like ex, accepting, uh, so it's being saved. Thing. Yeah, the, it, it's it's their heart turning toward God. Her, uh, her, she acknowledged it. I don't know if she, uh, it, right then if she said, "Oh yeah, that, I, I, your God's gonna, be, your God's my God." I don't know. I don't think she. I don't think it was like that. Then it, afterwards, it, it was probably like that. Because I think she's in a line, in a in a uh, line. Um, uh, she is, and so is Rahab in her lineage. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of the line, the 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 line, the lineage of Christ. So they, so it was. And the mixed multitude who came out of Egypt, so the people that were not Israelites, because they went along. They went along and and going going along, and it. They, it could just like when somebody, just like my friend Dennis, the the guy that passed, that he hung around me. He saw everything. He saw me read reading my body. He and he just started following me and and not like following me like like a puppy or anything. But but it, it's it's it it's like that the um the 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 story I told I told Eddie and, and Eddie and Zoe that. You put a you put that white uh, one drop of red paint into a, a, a bucket of, of white paint. That white that white paint is still going to be white. But if you it, that if it's a continuous drop of red paint into that white paint, it's going to eventually turn that white paint red. And that's that, and that's the same way here. That that them going out with them. And there was that that bucket and that bucket of white paint and, and they kept, and if their eyes were open seeing what God did in in life in in life of Israel and uh just like when with Dennis when he seen that, that God giving me favor and God and, and all of that and God allowing me to talk to him eventually he started seeing that he eventually he he uh, and and eventually he <clears throat> the curiosity got to him and he and and he asked for him himself and asking for himself God shown him and and that's that that continual dripping of that red paint just like I tell them that when you go into the world that you're just that one you're, you're that one drop in a big bucket but that one drop can you God can use you to keep dri- dropping and dripping and dripping and dripping until he uses you to uh to uh open up somebody else's life and the the in and so the, your question about the the unbelieving wife and, and the husband that's not salvation that, that some people have to accept Christ for themselves but as they're saved the, the as one is saved in the household that blessing that falls down toward them spills out to everybody else that the hand of hand of God that's on them the hand of protection that's on them goes spills out upon them just like if, if uh, if they weren't, if the kids weren't saved, uh, Eddie and Zoe weren't saved, that their protection, that God's protection upon us and His His hand upon us will still reach out to them until they go out in the world on, on their own. And then when they're on, when they go, when they go out, they they go out on their own. That that own, that God is going, God will, God see will see it on, on His time whenever. Uh, they're not walking with me, so 
they're out in the world and turn and, and uh just let the world have them for for their own but as long as uh as long as God sees fit for them for them for uh the sal- the grace and mercy and the salvation being upon us and, and the blessings be- well not the salvation but the blessings and and be- the blessings and his grace being upon us overflowing to to them and even people around people around us and uh, how's it for that P- even people around you can can have that it, it can spill out upon on them as well all right yeah. is there something else The I mean, whole, I get that, that there's, like, the blessing is on, you know, the believer and the home or whatever, and everybody else benefits, but I just wonder if, what? and I don't, you can't read into it more than what's there, but that, just that. That whole, now they're holy part. Yeah, because. And it, the whole is not. But it's not in the, it's not in the. Same way. Yeah, it, then it's not salvation. Salvation can't be passed down from generation to generation. It has to be. That's yeah. why it it has to be in your when you accept Christ as your personal savior. It has to be with your heart, with your whole heart. That's why. And uh, to to uh, Eddie and Zoe, I told um, Matt, David, Philip, Kyle, everyone, Janae, Robinson, don't accept Christ because you feel pressure to do so. If you don't, if you don't want to do it, then don't do it. It's better not to accept Christ than to try to fake it and then go into the world and then fall away and then be worse off than what you were. Because God is God's not looking to hear what you have to say. He want, He's looking just like with um, who was that with with David when whenever he told uh, Samuel he says I, he says I look upon I look I look on the heart. He's looking on God is looking on the heart where your heart is, and not what your mouth is saying. That's why it says in um, uh, with, with the heart in Romans. Let me see if I can find it in Romans chapter ten. Uh, I think it may be verse might be verse ten. It says with the heart, man man speaks. Uh, oh man, I, I, my eyes just hit it and I'm and I lost it. Oh man, I can't. Oh, there it is. Uh, in verse ten, it says, "With the heart, man believe. Oh, with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation." That it, it it has to be with it. That's why the Lord. That's why the Lord is taught us here that it. So it can't be f- with your mouth, and your heart's not in it. That's why it's it's so bad when people push somebody else to get saved, push somebody else to accept Christ, saying you. You have to do what you have to do. You have to get saved. I want you to go to heaven. It's it's not a, it's not about pushing somebody. It's about letting God work through you. It, it through you and and to to show them, and, and and God just like we learned that it God shines a light on their heart. Whenever they want to accept Christ as a personal savior, they will do so for themselves not because you pushed them or, or somebody their 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 family member or friends or spouse or husband or wife pushed them to do it and that's and, and, and that's the same <clears throat> same thing with sanctification it can't be done in an artificial sense you can't say well i'm i'm walking with god or, or i'm sanctified i'm set i'm i'm set aside i'm that peculiar treasure uh because you can say one thing with your mouth but when it comes down to it, if your heart if your heart is not in it, it's going to be seen. Whenever when 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 the rubber meets the road, it's going to be seen. If you if if you really want want to do want to walk with God, or want to walk in the world. That's true because that's what happened to me back all those years ago. Like I, I you know I said I wanted to believe in Jesus and. But, and and maybe there was some genuineness there, but, like, I just didn't know. Like, and I, 
because it was before that moment where I actually did, like, my heart changed. Yeah. It was about six months before that. And, you know, I, I could tell it, what I was doing wasn't real. Like, I, I, I just knew it wasn't real, but somehow. And then there was that moment where the Lord stopped me in my tracks and I made a decision. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it can't. No, nothing can be done with um, halfway, harp, hap, 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 halfway, <laughs> half-heartedly. That's what I was trying to think. Yeah, half, whatever. <laughs> Anything else? No, Any other sorry, questions? I, I have no questions. Thank you. Everybody got understanding of it. Thank you, Lord. Now here we. Open up the invitation to the to discipleship. If there's anyone that wants to accept Christ as the personal Savior to do so, you can come on forward to do it right now. And just here, just the same as online, and don't let anyone push you to have no one push you to it. If you if you uh, desire for a loved one to get saved, just let God work through your life and don't push them saying that they, that they have to do it. Let God work through you. Let God work. Let that. Let God call them out for yourselves. But if you want to accept Christ as your personal savior, anyone joining together with us online, you can do so. All you have. There's no long speeches you have to go through. God. Uh, there's no preparation for yourself you have to do. If if you have that burning desire in your heart to do so, then. <clears throat> And then God has done all the work that needs to be done. And all you have to do is accept Christ as your personal Savior. Just to say, Jesus, come into my heart. Well, you can say within yourself or out loud. Just say, Jesus, come into my heart. Save me. I know I'm a sinner. I know I need to be saved. I, I ask you to come into my heart and save me. Be my leader. Be my guide. Be my Savior. And that's all that needs to be done. There's, <coughs> there's nothing else. Not, no uh, you, no classes you have to take for your salvation to be complete. There's no probationary period that you have to go through for your salvation to be complete. Once you accept Christ with your whole heart, asking Jesus to come in, saying, Jesus, come into my heart and save me. I know I'm a sinner. I know, I, I know I need to be saved. Save me. Be my leader. Be my guide. Be my Savior. You're saved right then. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Your, <clears throat> your home is in heaven. And, and that's all that needs to be done. And as you accept Christ as your personal Savior, pray at, pray and ask God to send you to a church that he has uh, set ready ready to receive you. The here we pray in the Breach Ministries. We welcome you to come and join together with us and uh, hear a Bible study or a church service on, on Sunday. But it has to be God's choice for you. It, can't, it cannot be your own choice. And pray and ask God, and, and God will take you to the church he had he has uh, ready for you to help you grow in your walk and in your faith with him and so do so pray pray in the name of Jesus uh, and in your prayer in the name of Jesus and <clears throat> and God will do, God will take you to a church that he has ready for you and uh, if there's any prayer prayer request, you can send them. You can email them on email them in. The email is at the uh, bottom of the video. It's prayer at rtbministries.us. Once again, it's prayer at rtbministries.us. Uh, send them on in. We'll we'll pray over them on your behalf and uh, <clears throat> whatever it may be. And now, lastly, on uh, Sunday, we'll be coming together. We'll be starting a broadcast at. Uh, twelve thirty. God willing, we started at twelve thirty. Uh, if you want to join together with us here on the broadcast on uh, UStream, uh, if you want to join together with us in person, we come together at the Holiday Inn Express, uh, the Reams Elizabeth Town exit off of Route Two Eighty Three. We'll be coming. We'll we'll be coming together, uh, starting service at twelve thirty. So we welcome you to come on in, whether it's online or whether it's in person, whether you join us in person, whatever it may be. If God would have you to join together with us, we welcome you to come on together with us. We'll praise and worship and, and to hear his word. So if there's nothing else, if our hearts and minds are clear, let us all bow our heads and be dismissed. Dear Father, we thank you.
And we praise you, dear Lord, for being with us and guiding and keeping, standing on with us, dear Father. We thank you for the peace and joy that you've given to us, allowing us to sit at your feet, dear Father, and, and to hear your word that you have prepared for us, dear Father. And I pray, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, dear Father, just to guide and keep and stand on with us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. Continue with us throughout this, throughout this week, dear Lord, protection, guidance, and peace and joy upon us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray, dear Lord, be the cor continue being the cornerstone you, uh, uh, in our lives, dear Father, using us as examples to lead others to, uh, unto Christ, dear Father. And I pray as well in the name of Jesus just to stand and guide and keep and watch over us, dear Father. In the homes and the building, the schools, our activities, keep all of everyone in good health and injury-free, dear Father. Pro prosper and guide and keep us and surround us with your angels, dear Father, protecting each and every one of us, dear Lord. As we, as we go our separate ways and go out into, back out into this world, dear Father, use us, dear Lord, uh, to, to, to be examples out into this world. Bless us to be the continuous drip, dear Father, to, that we can bring others in, in to, uh, uh, bring others unto you through Christ, dear Father. In Jesus' name we thank you and we praise you, dear Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.